Okay, quick update on the AI Power SUA2300i inverter generator. Had the chance to run it through a full tank of gas. It's a 1.1 gallon capacity. I had about a gallon in there, but uh, I had a 1500 watt heater connected to it for most of that time. And it ran about four hours on the uh, gallon of gas. So that, that's pretty good. That means that the manufacturer's statistics or a spec for runtime is pretty accurate. I think they say six and a half hours for a, a half load, so that would be like 1100 watts. That's probably realistic. A um, couple of things. Somebody in my prior video had asked, where do you cycle through volts, hours, and frequency on the data center? It is actually this little button right there. It looks like it was an afterthought. It looks like they built this thing and said, oops, we have no button to cycle through the data center. Let's drill a hole and put a little button in there. Really easy to miss, but there it is. Uh, I've done the first oil change. And it's hard to get a feel for because it's in this black pan, but the oil was really dirty. It was gray. You could see some like streaks of what may be metal. But uh, I took a magnet and ran it through the oil pan. It didn't pick up any significant shavings or anything. So uh, the oil was definitely dirty, but it wasn't, it's one of, it wasn't as bad as I had anticipated. Especially because I really didn't follow the proper break-in procedures for this. I just pretty much let it rip for four hours with that space heater connected. Uh... Filled it back up with some synthetic blend 10W30. And um, yeah, it's all gassed up and ready to go. We're supposed to have some winter weather here in Pennsylvania this weekend. So might have a chance to use this in a real world application. But um, pretty impressed for the, for the money on this. If you have any questions, just let me know. Just comment below. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.